everyone, this is just going to be a lavender smoky eye tutorial and I think this look is best for people with brown eyes or hazel eyes because it really, uh, purples really make them pop. But I have blue eyes and I'm wearing it. I think you can, you know, again, like I say, do what you want. But if you do have brown eyes or hazel eyes, this will look really good on you. That's the look. Keep watching if you want to see how to achieve it. Bye! Hey guys, um, so let's get started. I already have foundation on everything. I'm taking NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow in Milk, and this will just make the colors pop. Any white base will do that. Um, and since we're using a pretty bright color, purple, this is the perfect base. Um, it'll make the product stick better as well. And then I'm taking just a sort of a light purple with gray undertones and just putting that all over my eyelid under my crease, no higher than my crease. Feels like I'm losing my voice. And blend it nicely so it's not harsh. Now I'm taking a flat smudgy brush and I'm going to take a shimmery white eyeshadow and I'm just going to take that along the middle of my eyelid and that just brings it forward and makes it um, seem brighter and bigger. Anytime you put a light color on something, it brings it forward. Now I'm taking a little fluffy brush and a sort of darker um, purple color, and I'm just taking that in my crease. It's sort of a dark, uh, more blue-toned purple. Um, and I'm taking that all the way through my crease, just blending it kind of carefully, um, making sure it's not harsh. Doing that on both eyes of course <laughs> and um da, 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 da. after that i'm taking a another little fluffy brush but this one is stiffer and i'm taking a even deeper purple color and i'm just taking that along the outside corners of my eyelids and this just brings dimension um to your eyelid you don't want to just use one flat shade of purple and call it a day you need to have various shades just to give your eyes depth and richness you want to look like you know what you're doing, you know? Nobody's going to think you know what you're doing if you just have a slab of purple on your eyelid. You gotta, if you're going to do purple, you got to do it right. Now I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just blend all that out. Nothing on that brush. I just want it to look well done. And now I'm taking a purple gel liner, and I'm just going to line my lash line at the top. And um, I made sure this was slow at first so you can kind of see what I do. This is almost dried up. It's L'Oreal Hip, but it's still usable. It's just a little bit more difficult. I need to purchase another one. But uh, I just kind of rediscovered it in my collection. And it's sort of a shimmery plum color. I think it's even called plum. Um, something like that. And anyway, I'm just lining, um, following the shape of my upper lash line, um, getting it as close to the lashes as I possibly can and winging it out just a little bit. Just a tiny wing, nothing dramatic. I'm not doing really a cat eye thing, but I always wing out my eyeliner because it really opens up your eyes and makes them look um, wider and um, bigger. I'm taking that almost all the way in, just leaving a little bit of extra space near the inner corner um, because again I like brightness on the inside of the eye because it it really just starts to open it up from the inside um, to the outside corner and this is difficult if you're a beginner like it's a very it took me a really long time to be able to align my eyes like this I don't know what I'm doing right now I'm just <laughs> getting more product I guess. I look so sad. <laughs> now I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just going over that with a deep purple eyeshadow and that's just to darken it and to soften it so it's not just a harsh line. Just smokes it out a little bit which is always good when it comes to eyeshadow. The smokier the better in my opinion. Well for most looks at least. Now I'm taking a uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Cream I think is what it's called and putting that right under my eye. This will make um, anything I put under there stick. It's lavender. It's waterproof. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's not that noticeable at first, but um, once you layer on top of it, it's gorgeous. 
and it just brightens up the eye because it's got some shimmer in it and it'll just stick on your eye no matter what you do. It's not going to run off your face like if you're hot or if it rains or something. Now I'm taking Urban Decay Demolition Deep Brown Eye Pencil and I'm lining my lower waterline and I think I lined my upper waterline too. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> just watching it with you. <laughs> So lining my waterline, um, it's just to, again, add some more richness to the eye. You don't want just all purple, you need a little brown too to mix it up. Now I'm taking a lavender color and I'm just running that over to blend that brown into that um, aqua cream and to just set it all nicely. Then I'm taking that Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil again in Milk and putting that on my inner corner and blending that in to open up and brighten those eyes. I wonder how many times I said eyes in this video. Now I'm taking Blue. And this is because purple is, you know, it's reddish pink based, the ones that I've been using. And you don't want to look like you're tired. So I always add a little bit of like a crystally blue over it um, to sort of... Uh, counteract that pink effect and make you look just a little bit more awake. That's just my little trick for purple eyeshadow because sometimes it can make you look a little sleepy or like you got bruised and we don't really want that. So I just add a little bit of crystally blue. And now I'm taking just a neutral brown color with a little bit of a mauve undertone. I don't know if you can tell that in the camera, but it has a mauve undertone and I'm just running that in my crease just to blend it all out and add a little bit of extra dimension. Now I'm taking a cream champagne -y color and I'm going over that uh, eyeshadow pencil in my inner corner just to set it. And I'm taking that same color and running it under my eyebrow. You know I love me some defined eyebrows. Now I'm taking Maybelline the Falsies Mascara, which I love, and I'm just going to lay that on pretty thickly um, in my top lashes. This really gives a nice effect. It is almost like false lashes. I feel like it really emphasizes my eyes quite nicely. And the brush is a great shape for getting every single lash and um, really kind of pulling it out towards the corners so it um, widens the eye. And after this, I'm taking a waterproof mascara. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I'm using the waterproof on my lower lashes because I always get my mascara runny on the bottom. And I just feel like if I use a waterproof on the bottom lashes, um, things tend to stick a lot better. But it's easier to take off at night because it's not all over the whole lash. Okay, this is just a uh, My Lips But Better uh, lip liner. I don't know what brand it is. I've had it for forever. It's rubbed off. I can't remember. Um, it's very short at this point because I use it all the time. But I'm just using this as an all-over lip color. So I'm not really lining my lips. I'm just covering my lips with it. And I'm taking that eyeshadow pencil on my Cupid's bow. And this just makes your lips look full. If you do this right above your top lip, it just highlights that area and makes your lips look a lot more plump, which is always a good thing. And now I'm taking Stila Lip Gloss in Apricot and I'm just glossing the middle of my lips. And that's the look. I hope you enjoyed it. And also comment below or tweet me or Facebook me or anything me. Just find me on the internet. Talk to me because I want to know what you want. So if you have any requests for a video or a blog post, please let me know. I will listen. I promise I will do my best to oblige your wishes because I want to. Because I'm here for you, not for me. I'm here for you. So if you have any requests, just let me know. So I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye. In the rain.